In this video, we're going to talk about nulls and how to deal with them in Tableau. Let's start by defining what null is. A very simple definition of null is no value. When something is null, it means there is no value for it. There's no value assigned. It is also very important to note that a null is not a zero. It's not an empty string. It's not a space. A zero, an empty string, and a space, they're still considered values, especially for programming languages. A null is none of these. To demonstrate the null concepts, I'm going to use two simple data sets. The first one simply has a first name, a middle initial, and a last name. And we are going to illustrate what nulls do to string concatenation. In this case, we can see the second record actually has no middle initial. The second data set is a very simple sales spreadsheet. We are going to show how nulls affect numeric calculations. And in this case, we can see that there are two records that don't have any discounts. So in here, you have order B05 with no discount and D55 with no discount either. These are some of the functions we are going to use to illustrate how to handle nulls in Tableau. We have is null, if null, ZN, if else statement, and IIF. The if null function accepts two values. It checks the first expression or the first value, and if it's not null or if it has a value, it will retain that value. Otherwise, it's going to return the second value. The second set of functions is IIF and is null. We are going to embed is null in the IIF function. So we're going to test if something is null, and if it is, we're going to assign a value. Otherwise, we're going to return a different value. Another variation is an actual if-else statement. So it behaves very, very similar to an IIF function, but a big difference is in an if-else statement, you can have multiple conditions. You can check for multiple cases and assign different values accordingly. So in this case, you can have an if statement. We can check if something is null, assign a value if it is. You can also have an else if that allows you to have additional conditions and additional values to display or return. And if it doesn't meet any of the previous conditions, you can also use the else clause. The last function we're going to use is ZN. And ZN is very specific to numeric values. ZN means zero if null. It simplifies a lot of that conditional checking. It simply returns a zero if a numeric value is null. Let us now jump into Tableau and see all of these in action. Let us take a look at how strings can be affected by null values. I have connected to our names data set that has some missing middle initials. So let's display them first. First name, middle initial, last name. A common task we need to do is to create a full name. So in this case, we need to create a calculated field that has the first name, a space, a middle initial, space, and a last name. So on the drop down, let's create a calculated field. Let's call this full name. Let's add first name plus a space plus the middle initial plus a space. Let's add the last name. Let's click on apply and display the full name. The problem in this case is one of the records actually has a missing middle initial. And when you add a string to a null value, in this case, the middle initial is missing, it is going to result in a missing value as well. So a string plus a null is going to be a null. So how can we resolve this? I'm going to show you a couple different ways you can address the null value in this case. So let's click on OK first. Let's duplicate this calculated field. So right click, duplicate. Let's edit this one. Let's use an if null function for this example. So let's change the calculated field name. Let's rearrange some of the fields. And in this case, we can add an if null. So what we are checking is if this middle initial plus the space, if it is null, what we want to do is we want to simply replace this with an empty string. Let's click on apply and let's take a look at the result. So in this case, we can see Mary's full name up here, Mary Smith. 
even though Mary is missing a middle initial. Another possibility is an IIF. Let's duplicate one of our calculated fields. So right-click, duplicate. Let's edit this. Let's change the name so it shows IIF. And in this case, we are going to use the IIF function. And the condition we're checking is if this first string is null. So we're going to have to embed the is null function here. Is null. If that is null, we want to return an empty string. Otherwise, we want to return the middle initial plus the space. So another comma right here, middle initial and space. Let's click on apply and let's take a look at the results. So we can see in here that both the if null function and the IIF function are able to successfully concatenate the full name. And yet another possibility is an if else statement. Again, let's duplicate one of the calculated fields, right-click, duplicate, and in here, right-click and edit. Let's change the name so it shows if else. Let's replace the code in the second line. So what we want in here is an if statement. If is null, middle initial. If the middle initial is null, then we want an empty string. Else, we want the middle initial plus a space, and then n. And let's make sure we add the final plus or string concatenation operator. Once we click on apply, let's display it. So in here, we've shown three different ways to handle the string concatenation with a null string. We can use an if null, an IIF, as well as an if else. Let us now look at how numeric calculations can be affected by null values. I have gone ahead and connected to our very simple sales spreadsheet and recall that some of them have discounts and some of them don't. Let's start by displaying the records. Let's take our order ID, let's double click on sales, and I'm also going to double click on percentage. Rearrange some of the fields. One calculation that we may need to do will be for the discount amount. So let's create that calculated field. On the drop-down, create calculated field. Let's call this discount amount. And the discount amount is actually your sales times the discount percentage divided by 100. Let's take a look at the result. And at this point, we don't see any issues yet. Let's create one more calculated field that gives us the net sales. So on the drop-down, create calculated field. Let's call this one net sales. Net sales is going to be the sales minus the discount amount. Let's take a look at the result. Click on OK. And in here, we can double click on net sales to add it to our text table. Let us also add some totals. So in your analytics tab, double click on totals. And this is where the problem lies. If we take a look at the grand total for net sales, we are missing $1,200. The problem here is we are doing numeric calculation with null values. When we try to get the discount amount with a null percentage, we get a null result. And when we try to subtract a null amount from $200, we also get a null value. Therefore, in here, if we are not careful, we are missing some numbers. So how can we handle it? We can use the same strategies we used for handling null strings, but Tableau also has a function specifically for numeric values, and that is Zn. It means zero if null. This can help simplify your calculated field. So for this example, what we can do is adjust the discount amount. Let's right-click discount amount and edit. And in here, we can simply enclose discount percentage in a Zn function or we can also enclose this whole expression in a Zn function. The results will be the same. Let's try this out. Zn. Again, Zn means zero if null. And notice what happens to our text table the moment I click on apply. Adding Zn allows us to assign a zero value, which is a number, which we can now use in other calculations. Adding this Zn has corrected our grand total. And this is it. These are some of the ways we can handle null values in Tableau. 
I hope you found it useful. And if you already knew about it, I hope you found it as a good refresher. I'll see you again next time.